radio. Why, I'll produce the gosh damnedest blowouts for 1938. <laughs> What about that coat? Yeah, it's a bad fit. A bad fit. Bad yeah. fit. Yeah, too tight under the arms. Not under my arms. That's my coat. Your and coat. My hat. What's it doing on me? What are they doing on me? Give me that Give coat. Give it away. It's going to be a hell of a struggle getting this coat off. All right. Cutting. You must be the first one to taste it. Oh, thank you. My dear, you're about to have an aesthetic experience. <laughs> it's got it. It's got it. It's got it. not warm. I'm going to prepare for you my most famous dish, chicken a la Rene. You must be famous. It isn't everybody who can have a chip kiss. Go on up. You know perfectly well I don't care anything about your talent. You know what I mean? Well, you are the best of the best. Good people, on the inside of this tent, you will see an awe-inspiring inspiration of God's damn work. Is it this one? No. This one? No. Is it this one? No. Is it that 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 one? No. Right, which is it? I poured it down the base. Oh, I meant it for Dr. Harrigan. I wouldn't have stopped. Oh, God. That's an idea. But it's true, monsieur. The whole, all this literature. Let me try it again, for goodness sake. Oh, but I've got a job, haven't I? Oh, yes, you have a job. Yeah, you're entitled to 10%. <laughs> <laughs> but I've got a job, haven't I? Yes, I think you have. Yeah, you're entitled to 10%. Sales do. Oh, damn it! <laughs> bloody you bugger and bluff! Do you suppose he rides in the park every day with Sally? That line was oh, screwing. And I just heard from a friend in Washington that, uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, for years I've dreamed of this moment. This shall be the creation of everything I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Hello? Hello. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, damn it. Oh, will you see, dear? When will you grow up? Well, I must go. People will be arriving in a minute. The main thing is I got to... Oh, damn it. Mrs. Hardaby, I'm our last on the point of leaving. So soon? Well, that's a shame. My husband would be so sorry to miss you. Ah! Uh, really, Mrs. Wayne? The very man. You see, Mrs. Creevy, you'll get behind him, and I'll get behind you, and Mrs. Mason will get behind him, me, or something. Uh, oh, honey. Well, my life hasn't been so pleasant lately. Well, even so. I married you for better or worse. If this is the worst I wanted, I wouldn't have anything to know. Oh, God damn it. Oh. Right in here, Miss Wilson. You'll find a typewriter there and everything you need. Uh, oh, no. May I submit respectfully that your honor, it is your... Oh, nuts. My back's pretty. That Rogers must be all right. Now then, Friar, let's waste no more time. We'll take the shortcut across the stream. Come. I won't. God damn it, not oh, won't. Action! Give me back my mutton chop. Oh, nuts. <laughs> Out of it, too. You bought your rotten little prince, Gregorovich, and when he ceased to be a reigning prince, you had to buy it, see? <laughs> Realizing a sinister influence was tying the hands of the police, I began a personal in... Oh, nuts. A personal what? Where is Andy? He's over the 7-Eleven Club, working on a story that's going to rock this town. Tell him to stick to rocking babies. That's what he... What he... Oh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Well, that goddamn thing locked again.
Hey, listen, Chief. If you think you can spare me, I guess me and the boys will be getting back to the parade. We'll probably have to run a foot race now and get... <laughs> the clothes Miss Blaine brought aboard, ship are still in her room. The steward and stewardess reported to me and I've had the ship searched. We found a rope attached to the boat deck rail. They must have lowered themselves to the dock at Cristobal. Well, I thought these things are still in her cabin. She's a chance. <laughs> I never was. I'm always bad luck to men. Son of a bitch. I know Dolph will say cut it. It's good to see you too, Sarah. Lance, don't be silly. No time for fooling. We're I'm, both on a case. I'm not fooling, and besides, I don't know what the hell to say. <laughs> Come on, line up. It's the law talking. The hell it is, the law. Yes, it is the law. How are you yeah. If we could get a line of little Macy's outfit, it might lead us to higher ups. That's what the chief wants. Yes, goddammit, I don't know what I'm supposed to say. Uh, it doesn't need explaining. Okay, it doesn't need explaining. I forgot the goddamn line. Looks like Hefner might have something to come back with the of the door. <laughs> so, we return to Schofield for Kit. I'll be a uh, son of a bitch. Pick it up, right? You're funny. Hardly. Oh, okay. Bull, check the passenger list of all planes leaving the Metropolitan. Oh, God. Okay. I see. So you don't know anything at all about uh, how. <laughs> well, now wants to put you out of business, doesn't he? It's obvious. There isn't enough. Uh, God, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, I'm sure. They're out of commission. I laid off the mechanics to, uh, for some goddamn reason, I don't know why. Well, I'll show you what we're going to do about it. You're disqualified for this race, and now we're going to re recommend you... All right. Oh, but Maxine. Not you. you. Don't you ever speak to me again. I'm through with you. That's just it. You see, I have some horses at home, and I don't think I can't remember any more lines. I'm very sorry. The winner! I don't know, Champagne! We know it, monsieur, and we are going away in the hope that if you cannot forget it, forgive us. Well, yes, you monsieur. You know, and you have been given the honor to represent America. Dance exposition? Yes. Of course you will re receive all expenses and an immediately uh, uh, check for... Yeah, <laughs> da -da. Say for! Say for! Say for! Say for! Say for! Say for! <laughs> Say for! <laughs> Say after you, sir! <laughs> and don't bring it back unless tongue's hanging out. Hey, have a heart. It's every time something turns in this day. Things. Oh, and she's give you the air for no, ain't she? Yeah. Well, then he's got to win. Not a uh -huh. No, it's a town about 30 miles from here, over in them now Ozark, where the hillbillies come from. Well, who's he making? A blacksmith. We got half the take, and I fixed it free with old man God damn it. Now, we might work up a match with one of your own boys, create local interest. All we need is a fellow with weight enough can uh, learn a couple of uh, lines and... Uh... Oh, but Ed, you can talk him into it. Well, now, listen, baby. I know everything there is to know about wrestling. I can promote a match from Podunk to the Garden. I can't remember the line. God damn it. Why, bust my bustle. That's the right smart idea. I'm not waiting for money. I'll tell you. <laughs> uh, 
The next time, ask somebody in the newspaper business. Yes, I w <laughs> Well, so what about it? Oh, God. You haven't seen any record? I'm sorry. Now, you might as well admit it's a bargain, Judy, and we'll just steal it with a kiss. <laughs> Get out! What's the matter, Kay? You in a hurry? Oh, Jesus! Must have misunderstood you, sir. <laughs> My turn. My future's with you, if you don't mind. That's right, dear. That's right. <laughs> you know everything, don't you? Well, that's what you pay me for. I'll have you know that never in any hour of distress will I call to Lan Lansford and subject myself to the cons... Oh, he's a silly will on the telephone. Oh, That red-blooded, red-faced, red-headed He-Man of the West, the mightiest horse tamer in captivity. Well, Smoke, old boy, looks like our luck still holds. I still can't graze my ass off the ground. <laughs> 